Welcome and thank you for joining me. Let's take a tour across North America and learn how large dairy operations are incorporating Lely robotic milking successfully into their farm. The way we came about robotic milking, we knew that if we were starting new, we should look at all of the options available and we looked hard at robots and we decided that it was the most economical uh, the most beneficial way to milk cows. The biggest thing we were faced with was our parlor was 45 years old and needed to be torn down. So we were at the point where it was build a parlor or install robots. Well, through the, the process of crunching numbers, um, thinking about labor cost, and um, just looking at the whole, the whole picture and realizing, hey, this is something my dad can get excited about, my uncle can get excited about, and I can get excited about together. And it really kind of brought us together as a family to build this dairy together, so. You know, we go from having cows in a parlor barn that you're managing them every eight hours to a robot barn where it's the cow's world. We wish three times a week we move a third of them to bed. And other than that, this is their world. And, uh, and, and we really like that. And it's, we see it in the sense of the cows and, and how they react. And with the robots, it's not even an issue. I haven't even had to even have a conversation about it in years. The cows are so happy and friendly, they actually follow us around. And we had a friendly herd before, but everyone that's in a robot farm says they see friendlier cows. And uh, my nutritionist at the time I put in the robots wasn't real keen on the idea. Two or three months into it, he saw our body condition improve with our feed costs staying the same and um, he was convinced it was less stress from being walked to a holding area and held in the holding area. I think the number one health benefit to a robot facility is hoof health because you no longer have the waiting time. Some of the best waiting times in a parlor are gonna be 45 minutes to an hour, where a cow then getting milk three times a day is doing nothing but standing. She's not eating, she's not laying down, she's not being milked, she's not making you money. As we continue to expand, we're looking at the cow first. We try and maximize efficiencies for the cow when people are handling them, and along with that, our cow health and cow comfort. So barn designs and cow flow and barn layouts are, are for me, gonna be the most exciting part of the next project. Um, we have a tried and true method here. We have uh, two robots per pen, evenly spaced throughout the barn. We didn't think a lot about um, people flow when we designed every decision we made when we built the barn. We said, "What's going to be best for the cow?" And that is that's uh, resulted in a nine percent lower coal rate year over year at this dairy than the other dairy. That's a huge deal. A big thing for us was moving the management area of the main barn into the center of the barn, whereas in our old facility we had to walk you know several several hundred feet to get to our management area. The four main groups in the, in the uh, main dairy barn are all within 100 feet of the main office. You design the barn in such a way that you, you are in with your cows and affecting their daily movements as little as possible. Because the days when we bed, and the day, even closing the robot for simple maintenance issues, you, can, you wouldn't think that you can see them, but when you look on the computer, you have clearly affected them negatively. Getting our employees to adjust to a uh, robotic lifestyle wasn't that difficult, but with anything there's a learning curve. We, we try to give them a standard operating procedure for everything. But one thing that we have found is that everybody likes to do things their own way. So we try to have a bit of flexibility as long as it doesn't kill the efficiency of the task. Most people are better than me at most things. So um, having coming to that realization for me has kind of helped me say, okay, people are good at things. Give them those things to do. I find the most important list that I use on a daily basis would be our Utter Health Analyze. Uh, it always you just puts it sorts those cows. So when you show up in the morning. Uh, we have all the cows that you need to look at uh, seconds after you come into the barn. 
And we've been very, very pleased that our maintenance costs have stayed quite flat and uh, feel very, very good about that. And we look at those eight-year-old robots and think we, we don't see hardly any serious wear and tear at all. Are there parts that have to be changed out? Absolutely. But it's pretty much uh, predictable and stuff we just stock and do a lot of those things ourselves. Um, as far as we know for support is pretty much 24 hours. There's 24 seven you can call somebody and they're usually pretty good to talk you through some stuff on the phone. Um, and if you can't fix it, they do come. So I guess what, what more can you ask for? The problem always gets solved. But it's not a huge issue because we don't have problems. We're not calling. It, yeah, we, I mean, the first the first few months of startup, there were some hiccups where, where we were calling in the middle of the night, but that's, that's very rare. I've learned in my career that anytime you can take labor away, there's in, some intrinsic value that uh, the whole farm runs better, and we've all enjoyed our careers more since switching to Lely than we did when we had more employees before. The one known uh, quantity, I guess, and that was labor, How our labor savings. We've got four years of, of experience now to tell you for a fact, you're gonna save money on labor on a robot. And I really am enjoying this part of my career where we can incrementally just add cows and robots and plug everything back into what we've already got here and, uh, and, and see us drive costs out of our overall operation. It's all about people, cows, and technology. How can we help you explore your future with Laley?